One of the nation's favourites, chilli con carne. It's very simple and very quick to make. Minced beef, kidney beans, paprika, little cumin, cayenne pepper, rich beef stock pot. And then we have our tomato base, which is our very easy tomato sauce. If you don't have tomato sauce, then what you'll have to do is fry your onions, your garlic, and then add 50% passata and 50% tin chopped tomatoes. It's as simple as that. What I do is I make a very easy tomato sauce. It's my base to my bolognese, to my chili con carne, to many things. It's easy, it's simple, but I make a very big batch and then I break it down into four or five pots and I freeze it. So when I want to make some chili con carne, it comes out of the freezer. So it's easy and peasy. And I have to start chopping onions, chopping garlic. So, how do we start? A little olive oil, and then we take our minced beef. One kilo of lean, fine minced beef. So now what I'm doing is I'm sealing it off. By doing that, I'm removing the fat. It'll render out and then start to cook my meat. What's interesting, we have one kilo of meat. And you may think that's a lot, but just look what's happening. The water has been released from the meat. And that's a large percentage of that meat. So have we really got a kilo of meat? No, we haven't. Once the water has evaporated, then you can singe your mince. So it's quite a long and slow process, but the results pay off at the end. And there's nothing worse than when you get mince and it's got those big lumps in it. Almost like meatballs, but very tough. Not nice. So this way, it now will cook nice and evenly in the pan. As you can see, the water's evaporated and now the natural fat and that little bit of olive oil will start to now singe the meat. Now, I take a little cayenne pepper and a bit of cumin. And again, you make it as spicy as you wish. Take a little paprika. See, when you think paprika, cayenne, a bit of cumin, they all work fantastically well together. So then we add it to our base tomato sauce, half litre of water, two rich beef stock pots. Dissolve the stock pots in the chili. When it comes to the boil, simmer very gently for about one hour with the lid on, but keep on stirring. You have to mother it. So the chili's now been cooking for 50 minutes and you can see the richness of the rich beef. In with the kidney beans. In this case, they're tinned, which have been washed off. I think you have to be generous with the kidney beans. Just work those in slowly. Because they were cooked already, all we have to do is put the heat into them. It's as simple as that. So to finish fresh chilies, a little bit of dark chocolate, minimum 70%, and fresh coriander at the last minute. And then what we do is just stir it in. As you see, also the chocolate gives it that little bit of extra richness. It just thickens it a little bit. And the reason I put it all in at the last minute is so it retains its freshness and you can taste the individual flavors. You can taste the chili, you can taste the coriander, you can taste the chocolate just that little scent of it. And just to finish, a little more fresh coriander just to make it look pretty. And there we have it, chili con carne with rich beef stock. It's fantastic with baked potatoes, sour cream. It's fantastic with rice. It's your choice. A little cheese. Everything goes in the world of gastronomy.